my father has just been killed. I just walked in the door. I don't know what happened there or dead. And I was feeling pain on the outside. And you do feel the release when you feel the blood. You know, you feel like you're finally opening up. And it's become more of a symbolic ritual of uh, releasing pain inside you. When a window gets smashed out and people confront authority and those institutions directly, it shows everyone in the world that resistance to the way things are now is possible. I did some heroin like three days ago. It was all right. It wasn't like, ooh, you know, give me heroin. <laughs> I was using needles after friends of mine that had like hep C. I have to wake up every day remembering that I took something I can't give back. I, I killed two people. I'm tired of just hearing about my friends dying, you know, and just going through the pain of that. It's like I've almost run out of tears, you know. I, it's really hard for me to cry now over a friend that's dead because I've had it happen so many times. I don't know if I can take it anymore. I've had girls that have had abortions and whatnot, but I've never had a kid that's actually going to be there in my hands that's mine. A long time I thought I had AIDS. I did some really things and, and, I, and made my parents go through like a lot of, but it was like their standards were like way too high and it's just like I just wanted to do my own thing and I wanted to be my own person. said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? O sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, I will make breath enter into you and you will live. And so I prophesied.
multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision.